of round two and we are back with the JK Tire National Racing Championship at the Curry Motor Speedway in Coimbatore. And we have got plenty of action coming up for you with the souped up Super Saloon, the single seater Formula Cars and of course the Volkswagen Polo R Cup. So let's get the wheel spinning. Right, and revving it up in the commentary position, I'm Raman Banot and with me is Mayanti Langer, who's just coming in from a trip down under. That's right, a nice holiday in Sydney with winter and now back to the wet and windy Coimbatore. I'm quite excited, Raman. It's my third season with the JK Tire family, so very excited to see what will happen this year. Yes, he's one to watch out for. The lights go off and so do the cars. A very slow start for Karthik Krishna, the pole position man. I think he either missed a gear, but there's too much wheel spin. But he's dropped down a couple of places. Sudan and Rajan's taken the lead. Karthik now fights back as they come out of the hairpin bend. He's back into second, but he's lost out of position. And you've got Gautam Parekh on P3. Oh, it's going to be so important to see how, just how they go ahead and maneuver themselves. So then, like you said, coming to the lead, he's a commercial pilot. Would you rather see his flying skills or his driving skills? At the moment, let's just focus on what he can do on the track, Mayanthi. At the moment, as they come down the straight for lap two, there's only one man who's tried to use the slipstream. That's Amiya Walawalka from Mumbai. That's experience for you. Hasn't really paid off at the moment. He's still in fifth position. But look at what's happening ahead of him. Sandeep Kumar is looking to fight in. But Karthik Krishna has regained the lead. Right behind him is Sudan Raj and they're going bumper to bumper. On third place, in fact, is Sandeep Kumar. So don't discount that young lad. He's got a lot of speed going. It's a fight on a three-way fight, is it? Yes, Gautam Parikh has screamed back into contention. He's in third place at the moment, right behind Karthi Krishna, who is, in fact, behind Ameya Walawalka. Remember, he won the first race of this round. He's looking good to win this one as well. And just have a look at that. Gotham's gone ahead and overtaken Karthik, so it's going to be so interesting. Whoa, 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 what's going on there, Ron? Deepak's just lost the nose of his car, the little collision that he's had with Sudan and Rajan. But at the moment, yes, you're absolutely right. Gotham Parikh in second position as they come down the straight. It's a win here for Ameya Walawalkar. Gotham comes in second and Karthik has to settle for third. So back-to-back -back wins here for Omeya Valavarka. He must be a happy camper. My name is Saif Mir. I'm from Delhi. I'm racing in the Polo R Cup for 2000, 2011. I was very young. I was very passionate about racing. Uh, I was, saw it on TV, Formula One, so that's when I decided I want to be a motorsport. I want to get into motorsports and I want to race. My motorsports icon is uh, Mr. Akbar Ibrahim. I've uh, done my racing school from him. He's my teacher, he's taught me everything. Whatever I am today, it's all because of him. So we all know that racing is about speed, adrenaline rush, aggression and firing up those engines. But there are some men who work tirelessly behind the scenes to make it a spectacular sporting event. Let's go find out who they are. For an event of the magnitude of a national championship, you need a team to run the whole show. We have a great team, all of us petrol enthusiasts, petrol heads. We work together, we have different functional responsibilities, but ultimately we have only one objective, which is to run a great race. And now the journalists come into focus because, you know, they talk the talk, but can they walk or rather drive the talk? From adjectives and syllables to braking and steering, this is the media race. This is really going to test their driving skills. Starting off on pole position was Bertrand D'Souza, of Over Drive, a seasoned campaigner. Of course, the second part weighed the Himalayas as well. Starting off on P2 was Saptarishi Shukla of Autocar. Really have been there, done that. But this is a different cup of tea, as manthi has been saying. I tell you what, the car's pretty easy to handle. It really is. I think that's the significance of this race, is just to show you how well you can maneuver the polo. And uh, that's a great point here from Volkswagen introducing this race. Yes, but it wasn't smooth sailing for everyone. Problems for Saptarishi Shukla of Autocar, who started on P2, but just spun out of the race towards the business end. But a win for Bertrand D'Souza of Overdrive. That's right, he's followed by Dhruv Bell from Auto X, who incidentally started all the way down the grid. Adi Shalwani from Zigweeds completes that trio on the podium. He also managed to clock the best lap. The round two is 
officially over. And as promised for all new motorsports enthusiasts, we've seen a brilliant display of sporting action. But it doesn't end here because we continue our journey in Chennai for round three as the JK Tire National Racing Championship continues. Now the